Memorial Day is about honoring U.S. military personnel who died while serving. But tonight, we're also reflecting on the sacrifices of first responders here at home. Yeah, we've reported on the increased risk of cancer for firefighters. Tonight, Fort Hatchet has new research that could impact what kind of equipment firefighters use in the future. I've been working with firefighters for over 30 years. U of A professor of public health Jeff Burgess has dedicated much of his professional work to helping first responders. They have many different things that make their jobs both difficult and hazardous to them. So these is, this is just uh, helping them figure out ways that they can do their job as safely as possible. Burgess spearheaded a new study that found an increased risk of prostate cancer in firefighters due to gene alteration from PFAS chemicals. The long-lasting chemicals can be found in everyday items like takeout containers, but there are notable levels in firefighting equipment like foam and uniforms too. So we all have some level of PFAS in our body, but on top of it, Firefighters have additional sources of exposure. The study found experienced firefighters' PFAS levels were much higher, increasing their cancer risk. The hope is to limit the PFAS in firefighting equipment, and even more testing could determine a way to reduce the PFAS levels in a firefighter's system. So these changes occur as a result of the firefighter exposures, but we'd have the potential to reverse those changes before they result in the onset of cancer. Fire departments now armed with new information can look for solutions to keep firefighters healthy. Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.